Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft 15w40b of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. And in this video I'm going to be showing how to convert um, uh, our favorite item elevator uh, that worked in Minecraft 1.8 uh, to an item elevator that will work in the current snapshot. Uh, now, I, I know calling this uh, a 1.9 tutorial is um, uh, not only at least a bit audacious, but it uh, is jumping the gun a bit. Um, so this really is just something for the current snapshot. Uh, all of the mechanics here are, of course, subject to change for the official 1.9 release uh, and uh, even in the next snapshot. So, um, uh, But I'm making this video anyway for a variety of reasons um, that uh, are not particularly germane to the topic here. Uh, just suffice it to say that uh, I know that um, it's a little bit silly to be making 1.9 uh, tutorials, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. So, uh, And why am I holding a stick? All right. Uh, okay, so um, a couple of caveats here about the design that I'm going to show. Uh, the first is that um, this is not something that you should be using if the water in the water channel of your item elevator is between layers 48 and 61 inclusive. Uh, and that's because the squid spawning area is between layers 46 and 62, and um, there is one point in the design I'll be showing that has too high water in it, and squid can spawn there if your water is in that area. Uh, I actually have one of these water channels uh, with the uh, uh, with the water at layer 50, and I intend to drop it down by three blocks uh, in uh, in order to use this specific design. So. Um, but uh, the other caveat is that um, this is actually a little bit noisy. Uh, it does rely on a trapdoor for some of its uh, mechanism, and um, that uh, that just creates a lot of noise. There are a couple of pistons, but pistons are uh, make that nice, quiet, whooshing noise. Uh, trapdoors are much louder. Uh, I had been using a cobblestone wall in place of a trapdoor uh, that was working, uh, but in snapshot 15w39c, uh, I started losing a lot of items uh, by using that, so I had to switch back to using a trapdoor. So it, it is a little bit noisy. Uh, okay, some of the features here, uh, just so you know what you're dealing with. Um, uh, it is lossless, uh, at least as lossless as these elevators can get. Um, it can handle any kinds of items, and it can also handle any volume of items. I've tested this under both heavy and, and uh, light loads. Uh, it does use the existing form factor of test 137029's design, um, which means that it's going to be much easier to integrate into existing builds. Uh, all of the circuitry is hidden um, underneath the water channel in a 3x7x2 space, and uh, most of the lower uh, of the two layers is just regular blocks. So effectively the circuit is a, is a single block. It's, it's a flat circuit. Uh, there's also no signal leak from the circuit, uh, and by signal leak I mean that no blocks that are outside the volume of the circuitry are accidentally or, or say incidentally powered, either weakly powered or strongly powered. So uh, there's much less likelihood that um, this is going to interfere with things that are already alongside it. Um, the uh, circuitry doesn't actually run on a clock, so uh, none of the mechanisms are going to be active unless there are items in the stream. Uh, and the mechanisms are synchronized just as a, a matter of minor noise abatement. Uh, there's also inherently no mob spawning on the platform for, of the circuitry, and that's important because it means that you don't have to light anything up. And if you don't have to light anything up, then you don't have to replace your ice with packed ice. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to be showing you how to build this with no packed ice at all. So that, that's right. Um, you don't actually need packed ice for this particular design. So if you haven't found an ice spikes biome uh, or you just don't have any packed ice remaining, um, uh, this, uh, this will still work. Um, it does, however, uh, require that items be um, uh, regulated in the stream. Uh, uh, but the batch time is only about uh, three seconds, um, which facilitates collection at the top of the tower. Uh, there are also not very many um, water updates or piston updates, um, because there's just not a whole lot going on. Even the redstone is pretty minimal. Uh, all right, so let's see what we have to start with here first. Um, this is the uh, this is the design by Test 137029. Um, I've just got an incoming water stream here, and uh, this is kind of where the important stuff starts. I've got two blocks of ice coming to a corner. 
uh, and uh, around the corner I have two uh, um, non-slippery blocks, just re uh, regular blocks. Uh, that slows down items enough that stackable items will stack here before they continue on. Uh, and then I've got five blocks of ice, uh, and there's a fence post on the last block of ice. And just beyond that is another non-slippery block with another fence post. Uh, the fence post on the ice uh, has uh, is flanked by two blocks to which it does not connect, and the fence post on the non-ice is surrounded by blocks to which it does connect. Uh, so this is uh, this is just kind of the classic design, um, and I'm going to convert this uh, to operate in um, uh, in a uh, 1.9 snapshot. Uh, because, of course, um, uh, there was a bug fix that caused the fences to no longer send items up the tower. Uh, and this is what I'm going to use to do it. There's not a whole lot here. Um, you know, notice some packed ice here, and I said that uh, I wouldn't be using packed ice. Uh, well, this is you can either use two blocks of packed ice, or you can use two slime blocks, um, or I guess one and one if you really wanted to. Uh, um, that's because slime blocks are also... Uh, slippery. They're they're just not as slippery as ice, uh, and I've designed this to um, to have enough um, leeway that uh, uh, that you could use slime blo slime blocks instead. So um, I'm actually going to be using slime blocks here uh, to build this. Uh, I'll need a few mechanism components, um, a, a pressure plate, a trap door, and a couple of sticky pistons, and then. Um, just some uh, uh, just some standard uh, redstone wiring, not a whole lot here. Uh, okay, uh, so first things first, uh, let me um, uh, block off this water here so we don't make a mess when we're uh, fixing this. Uh, trap, uh, the uh, uh, fence post no longer works, so I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, let me create a little space. Um, the, where that uh, fence post was uh, against the back there, I want to put a trap door that opens down against the back. So just like that. Uh, and underneath the trap door, I want to replace that, uh, that block there with uh, one of my slippery blocks. In this case, I'm using slime. And uh, I'll put this glass block back in a second. Uh, now um, I have my five blocks of ice here and the middle block I want to take out and put my second slippery, slippery block there. Uh, and on top of that one, I want to put a pressure plate. Okay, um, it's time to uh, build the platform the, uh, for the circuitry underneath here. Uh, so starting with that uh, first block of slime that I placed there, I want to come down two blocks. So I have one block of space uh, in between the ice and my circuitry platform. Uh, and this is going to be a three by seven platform. There we go, just like that. Uh, and I need to put uh, two pistons down here, one right there and one right there. Okay, and those uh, are right underneath uh, the ice on either side here. So right here, put down the piston and uh, I guess I can go ahead and put that ice back. And over here, also uh, right underneath this ice block, uh, but this piston uh, does not go on top of the platform. It can actually gets embedded in a platform, so I'm going to knock out this block here, and the piston goes right in the hole. There we go, and uh, put this ice back. And now I can put this uh, glass back. There we go. Uh, okay, so the circuit, in order to make it easy to set up, um, the circuit is uh, completely symmetric. Um, as, but uh, so I, I'm going to build one side and then the other. But uh, first, I'm going to uh, draw uh, basically a zigzaggy line down the middle with my uh, redstone. So there's my uh, five um, uh, five um, uh, redstone wire, uh, just cutting uh, cutting the platform in two basically. Uh, now I need a repeater alongside the piston uh, facing away from the redstone extension and that repeater needs to be on four ticks. Uh, that repeater faces into a line of two uh, repeaters, uh, both of which are on a single tick and those two repeaters face into a block on the corner and the side of that block that faces the middle of the platform uh, gets a redstone torch and that uh, will cause the piston to extend. Okay, uh, that's one side, and now the other. A uh, repeater alongside the piston, uh, facing away from the redstone extension, 
on four ticks. And that faces into a line of two one tick repeaters that face into a block on the corner uh, that has a redstone torch on the side facing the middle of the platform and that will cause the piston to extend. Okay, so um, uh, that's that's it. Um, that's, that's the whole circuit. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, release this water here and I need to put one more uh, water source block uh, right here on the other side of the pressure plate. Now this water is not flowing, but when the piston pulls this uh, block of ice down, uh, the water will flow towards the trapdoor. Uh, and that is the whole that is the whole build. Uh, so if we throw an item in here, and just like it used to work. Okay, so um, there's not a whole lot uh, not a whole lot to this. Uh, all of the regulation. Uh, of items is done by this circuit here, as uh, is the uh, mechanisms to actually push the items up the up the tower. Uh, so um, uh, pretty quick and easy. Um, that's it then for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. And thanks for watching.